Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I feel like I have not been here in ages, and honestly, I haven't. Um, as most of you know, Susan Bailey with Turtle Soup Beads went live with those petal cutters last week. And I have just been more swamped than i ever been since starting my business. So for all of you that ordered, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, it has finally calmed down a little bit. I've got all my orders packed up and out. Except for ones that came in today. I got half of them out. The other half I'm still working on. But I started doing something before the orders hit. And I had a lot of scrap play. So I thought I'd take all that scrap clay that I had that was mud and make black out of it. And I did. And I wanted to make something. I wanted to start on Halloween stuff. So I wanted to make a spider web. So I turned all of my mud clay into the black. And I proceeded to make a spider web. Well, I don't know if you can see this really well. But if you look, you'll see a lot of the spider web isn't really pronounced. Um, some lines are missing and stuff like that. So I'm finding out that blackout and canes, at least for me, does not work. It seems to eat a lot of the colors. So now that I had time, I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it the right way. And this time, though, I'm using Sculpey um, Souffle just because it's a little stiffer. I really should be doing this with Primo to see how it stands up. But I had some souffle, and I never use souffle, so I thought I'd better use it. So this is probably one of the easiest canes you can make. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to it. It's just getting that shape perfect, and you're good. So I don't know how big I want to make this. I'm probably just going to go, uh, we'll go a little bigger. I won't go too small. I still have a ton of clay, a ton of cane, and I don't know if anybody's interested, but I was thinking of maybe doing a live and um, showing you some of the cane I have and selling them for about half the price that you would normally find them on Etsy, because i got to get rid of them, and I don't have enough time to, to use them all. I think i got like five big containers full of it. So I know I can save it and use it later, but honestly, I'd rather just keep making so what we're going to do, I think this is enough clay. All we're going to do is put this into a ball and we're going to make it into a teardrop. What I'm going to try and do is put the camera up a little bit as well. Okay, so we're just going to square off the bottom. and I'm going to use these right here. And then I'm just going to come in here and make a nice like 45 degree angle. I haven't made one of these in so long. Let me lift this up a little higher so my hands aren't like completely in the way. I am charging, so while I'm at it, let me move this out of our way so that you're not seeing the cord as well. Sorry, yeah, I wasn't sure what else to do. I came in here and I said, oh, okay, I'm going to take a break. And that's what I did. <clears throat> okay, so now... Again, we're just going to shove this down so we got a nice perfect line there and then a nice triangle all the way through. I think this would work fine with Primo. I'm just not doing that at this time. And I'm not going to make that really. Okay, so now we're just going to got our angle. Now let's just get it flat. All right, so there we go. So, what you can do now at this point is now you're making the actual web part. So you could take your blade and do that, or if you don't have a blade that's really flexible to where you can bend it a whole lot, just use a circuit uh, blah, a circle cutter. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm just going to use a circle cutter, and I'm going to go one, two three you might have to move that last one or you'll you'll crush it again okay and we're gonna go four and that's basically your cane it's that simple to make so we're gonna put this right back in there 
okay so we're nice and rounded then you're going to take your clay your white clay i've got mine at the thickest setting which is a zero on my machine and all you're going to do now is just put some white clay in what you just cut and try and go even or as best as you can that first time around so that you don't have to come back and fix it which is usually what I end up doing but it's so much easier when I got it perfectly lined in there to start out with and then you got to make sure that you're you're in the way you came out that doesn't look right all right so we do that okay now we're going to do the same with this one I think that would work if I just do it like that. It does get thinner, so. Okay, and I have that. And a little one for up here. Yeah, I haven't been able to really think of canes. I do want to make a beach thing. Um, I'll probably do that Sunday, maybe later on this week. I don't know. It's Memorial Weekend. Um, probably going to have a ton of people here on Monday, depending on what the kids are all doing. So, just in case I don't get a chance to make one next week, I may be a couple days late. Okay, so I'm going to move all this around. And the reason, yeah, if you're using... Um, souffle you want to use gloves there's something about the souffle black that likes to get everywhere okay so what I'm gonna do now now that I got it all cut out is I'm just gonna make sure that I got it nice and bent so that we got a nice little circle here okay This one, I want a nice little circle, so I'm just going to push in on that center. I should have waited until I took it apart and did that, but... Okay, because the more round, the more realistic it's going to look. See, this one is round, but it doesn't look really round right there. Okay, so this basically is your cane for your spider whip. Like I said, really simple. Let's see if I can get that a little more shaped better. Okay, so now what you need is you need eight of these, and it's all going to come out in a circle. So, as you know, with the spider web, you have those, but you also have a web coming down this way. So we're going to take some white and put it on the right side here. And we're going to cut that. Okay, so now you've got your white on the side. You only want it on one side because if you put it on both sides and then you put it together, one of the, the sides are going to be doubled and you don't want that. So we're going to put this away, and I'm going to leave the, now I'm going to take these off. Another thing that you'll want to use is alcohol. When you stretch this out into a long cane, just wipe the ends with alcohol if you want. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to reduce this. And this can get tricky because it's really small. But you're just going to come across... On all sides like this see this is where the black gets all over your hands so there will be a lot of black on top of that white and you're just gonna shove it down and just reduce it and I need eight equal parts Okay, and you're just going to keep doing that until you get it smaller 
and longer. So I'm going to go ahead and pause while I get it to where we need to go. So I need at least eight inches. So yeah, I've got like six inches to go. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and we're almost there. Oh, yeah, I had to turn it around because I had the wrong measurements on this side. bit more okay so sometimes that little web part will get straightened out when you do it so now we're just going to cut it in eight equal parts okay yeah see how they straightened out oh well so i'm going to put the white on one side and we're gonna keep it like that okay so there's two and we're just gonna go in a circle so that's gonna be five the top one remained it brown this one did not though And that one remained around. That one might be a little too big. Yep, this one didn't get reduced enough. These two are fine. Okay, so we just got to bring this down a little more. And one more. So I got the white, white, the white, the white, the white, the white, the white, the white. Yes, I have to do that just to make sure. Okay, I'm going to put all that together. I'm going to come on this side. Wow, souffle is really not as soft as Primo. So I'm kind of shocked that it's just really out of shape here. And because it's so small, I really don't need to reduce it too much. So again, I always pinch about, I don't know, just a quarter of the way on this side and then straighten it out. Do the same on this side. And just pull as you go. See, so far you don't have a whole lot of waste. I don't want to go too much smaller than that because I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. So, I'm just going to make sure it's all nice and even. Oh, much better. Much better than the other one. See how the lines are so much more defined than this where they kind of, where'd it go? Where they kind of disappeared. So definitely like that much, much better. The souffle, I'm sure the Primo would work just as good. I will try and do a sample with that later. 
But there you go. That's how quick it was to make a nice little spider web for you. So hope you like that. And I'll send links um, <clears throat> to my store underneath. If you haven't tried our petal cutters, we do not have our shapers up yet. That's going to take me a little bit of time. And I thought I had a new cutter that I was working on here, but I don't. So I'll have to show that in my next video. So you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you guys for everything that you do for me. I really appreciate it. I love being tired. Um, I, I'm exhausted, but it's a good exhaustion. So I appreciate all your support to all of you. And we will talk to you hopefully in a couple days. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye.